ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. <laughs> It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Yes. All right, everyone, I am Vasip. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. I figured I would pick up this game and do some let's play of it. This is one of my favorite games. I come back to it every few months. It's so good, uh, but it's so punishingly brutal at times. And uh, I'm not that good at it, but I very much enjoy this game. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new Crimson Court uh, game here. Uh, we're going to play Darkest Normal Mode, I guess you could call it, because... Uh, Blood Moon, I am not ready for. So let's call this, uh, as if it gets honed. That's good. Um, and I also have some mods that I'm gonna turn on here that I actually think are pretty fun. Most are skins and stuff for funness, but this trinket overall project is uh, balancing and stuff for some trinkets that I think it adds a couple to. Uh, this is just skin, skin, skin. A little protection adds a little bit of protection to classes. Uh, depending on their armor level um, and since I'm giving myself some buffs in a couple of these I'm also giving myself some nerfs um, at it for instance this house full of piggies it adds a bunch of new enemies to the warrens they're pretty tough smart stacks adds better stacking because it's very annoying when you have collection missions and the collect three items don't stack I hate that slight haste just speeds up some animation curio hints because I've played enough that I don't care about looking up stuff anymore uh, unofficial palette, expansion pack, skins, uh, more quirks. This comes with a ton of bad negative quirks too, so more balancing for me. Army of Bones, a lot more enemies for the ruins. Uh, not gonna turn on that Revenant class mod. Uh, I might turn on this Zealot one, I've never tried this one yet. Another skin, uh, this is one for the Cove, a beast called the Kraken that could just show up and apparently wrecks your face. Uh, Turning on the reduced Crimson Curse chance, uh, I feel this is a, a good balanced one. It's still pretty high, but it's not as ridiculous as it is in the normal game. Uh, skin, 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 and the rest are other class mods that I'm not going to install. But let's go ahead and play this one. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. 
leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Man, I love the writing and the voice acting in this game. That's Wayne June, if you don't know. I made mention of him in uh, my Hellblade playthrough. That wasn't the video they got corrupted. Not sure. But this game is fantastic. If you've never heard of it, it's a dungeon crawler, roguelike, um, where your people auto-die, and there's no saves coming. Like, it saves pretty much every action that you do. So, like, if your game crashes or you try to alt F4, you'll come back to the same horrific experience that you were just in. Um, that can be very brutal at times, especially if you get screwed over by some bad dice rolls. And, uh, as my friends all know, I have terrible luck with dice gods. Um, playing D&D or anything that requires dice, I just have horrible luck. To the point where I had a DM give me a special ring where I could re-roll ones, and I just started rolling twos at that point, so it was quite terrible. But that's me. I have bad luck with dice. Roll three ones in a row kind of thing. I got crit hit by a buddy twice in a row. That hurt. I guess that's his bad luck of dice roll, but targeted me, which hurt, because I just fully healed. But that was always a fun experience. Art in this game is so great too. I think I've had some mods at some point that added more art. Uh, Brigands the have and run stuff, up these lanes. Screens. Keep to the side path. The Crimson hamlet Corso, is just ahead. I didn't see it. And, uh, it was available to me. this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. And you may have noticed that I turned on the cursor for this game because one, the cursor is. Continually on the game, but two, it kind of helps to know what I'm clicking on sometimes. Uh, but I do a lot of use a lot of the keyboard shortcuts. Packs I can. laden with loot are often low on supplies. Leave nothing unchecked. One of the worst things that much happened to be found in this game in forgotten is, uh, places. when you die, this is the tutorial An stage essentially. Send these you definitely a can't die on it. The rightful owner has uh, returned, to and their kind is no longer uh, welcome. You can get a ghost that spawns or something, and that will ruin your life. I think it's a hundred stress or something, if I remember correctly. Uh, my buddy, the first time he got this game, he died in the tutorial. <laughs> made him kind of salty. He wants to try it again, but it's just kind of brutal. It's like, really? Died immediately? I haven't even gotten to the real game yet. Chop him in the face. Actually, the rolls I'm getting here are actually really good. My guy's got like no damage. Didn't give everything. And normally you can do continue adventuring here, so like you can keep going in the dungeon, or you can open up a chest here. But this is always trapped. Even if you use it, like if you get a key, it, you're gonna get a trap. So you never do that one. I'm not gonna waste any food because you auto heal when you go back to the estate. That's the faster animations, so I don't like waiting for all that. And also, their uh, combat animations are a bit quicker. 50% damage in Cove. That's a positive quirk, which is interesting. Normally, I get a negative quirk there. And if I remember correctly, those two always start out with the same negative quirks, I guess. It's not like a random roll. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. They are yours now, and you are bound to them. Man, uh, I have a hard time talking when he's talking, because it's so good, and they keep adding more voice lines and stuff. It's so great, but here, I'll go ahead and show what this is about. So, yeah, he has known cheat. 
can only gamble, this is a stress relief thing. 50% uh, sun resist, plus 2 speed, 15% damage in cove, that's neat. This guy always has Klepto, right? Yeah, he has always has God Fearing and Klepto, so he'll steal stuff in the dungeons, which can really suck. Rear of Light. Um, and normally, this is a little bit of stress here, but it's not worth putting him into sanitariums and stuff. Until they get pretty high, because Most will end if you leave up him in your roster, covered don't take in the him poisoned off. earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Sorry, Wayne. Uh, if you don't take them on missions and stuff, they will recover stress slowly over time. So you'll see that I don't. Women and put men, in really soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses, all will find their way to us now that the road is clear. I did have an old mod at some point that gave them, uh, opened up the naming conventions of the heroes. They added like In a time, some more you names. will know the tragic extent of my failings. Because it's funny when you get people with the same name coming in. Uh, but there's not much more I can do right now, so let's go ahead and show you what the meat of this game is all about. A so mecca essentially... of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Um, so all these areas get kind of unlocked as you progress through the game. The goal is to get to this Darkest Dungeon one here. I've actually never did a Darkest Dungeon run, um, so that's going to be new to me. I did a little bit of Courtyard when the DLC first came out, uh, but I didn't make it even to the Baron yet. Um, because I get distracted with other games and stuff. So let's go and build up our party here, see what kind of skills they have. probably going to be in position four and if you notice the little yellow bubbles above there those are the position the character has to be in to use the skill and the red ones are the position that it can hit and I did not get a good Vestal roll. Hmm. She's more of an attack Vestal which kind of sucks. Just for Saint Hood. I should probably check what yours is. Intense crazy for alcohol. Alright, so Vestal has to go in position 3, Lake Dactor in position 4, and since we only have one area open, we only can go here. And what's cool is like if you have certain characters in certain orders, you get these little aimed party composition. It doesn't do anything, it's just fun. Red Hook is actually the name of the company that makes this game. So, and of course, the starting people that you get. So, uh, I don't have any trinkets yet. The cost yeah. of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Now, as you play this game, you kind of come to an understanding of what makes you feel safe, I guess? Oops. Um, and how much provisions you take, because this will actually ruin you in the future if you're spending too much money, you won't be able to upgrade your people or anything. Um, so, taking eight torches will be fine. 12 food, nah. Eh. I don't have a good healer. There, my vessel doesn't have good heal, so I'm gonna bring all the food. Two shovels should be okay. Let's bring a bandage just in case. No, I'm not gonna do that. Always bring a key though. Always bring a key in the ruins. A couple of reasons. One, there's lots of lock chests, and I think it's every area you go to has a chance to spawn a secret room. Um, if your a character scouts out, they can find a secret room and usually has some great stuff in it. And if you have a key, you can unlock the chest and get some amazing stuff worth a lot of money. Yay, looted torch! Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. So that thing above her head, that was she gained some stress by walking in here. Oh man, I did not get good rolls on him either. So this causes like a poison, it's called blight. It has a chance to happen and it, these guys have low blight resistance as you can see in the bottom here. Uh, this, they can't bleed obviously, they are undead. Uh, I'm gonna pistol shot. Or grape shot. AoE there. She does a self heal, single heal. Oh, I thought she had the group heal. That's actually a decent heal. Uh, how much left? Four 
damage a turn. He has three life. He's gonna do it. Oh, darn it. Oh, hey, guess what? Flash you. Surges as the yeah. enemy crumbles. All right, this one is unlocked. Now, technically, I could throw a key in and possibly unlock more. Not gonna waste it. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. This is why you need shovels. Even the cold you chose stone to seems bent on preventing passage. Oh, and of stress. And stress is generally the biggest killer that I get. Um, I, I usually don't lose people by damage, I lose them by them getting stressed out. And she is a high stress dealer, so she needs to go. I stun her. I can stun her. One stun her. Yes. Yeah, always CC the highest threats if you can. Like most games, but... Bam. I'm gonna try to kill her before she gets a chance to go. Probably should've just killed her. Be able to stun her again because if you look, her stun resistance went up because she just got stunned. Oh, that's first two. That's right. Come on, flighter. Little killer. Oh, she's gonna get stress out. Ooh, see? 20 stress. That hurts. Might be able to shut go. Oh. Thanks, Dismas. Ruined it, bro. Let's try to kill As the one. Fiend falls, this little faint hill symbol blossoms. here. Is, uh, they still have. Jeez, I forgot I needed a heal. They still have a turn to go through. Press this advantage. Got that. Give them no quarter. Mine means. Oh. Crap. Now I couldn't heal him because he died. And you this can't heal out of combat. Promises success. Like the spell. I can make him eat. And torch, as you can see, my torch light's going down, and it has an effect the lower it gets. You get more loot and stuff the lower it is, but stuff hits you a lot harder, and you have a higher chance of getting surprised, which shuffles your party, and just can generally ruin your life. I wish I got a scout here, so I could know what the ideal way would be to go. Man, I always get excited when I go first start. That's Klepto. So, see that? This is why I hate Klepto. He, so he stole all that stuff. I said it didn't come into my inventory. Jerk face. But yeah, every time I start this game in the, the intro sequence place, I get all sorts of giddy. That game is so good. Ooh! Those fountains are good. Oh, cool, so I surprised them. Unfortunately, when you surprise enemies, they don't get shuffled. I wish that was a thing. I need to heal. Gotta chance it. Since I get a... I'll go before they do. I'm hoping I can get a good. Dang it! Dodge. I'm gonna stun this guy because he does a ton of damage. Dang it! Or not. I'm really not playing well. I haven't played in a while. I'm spreading out my damage too much. I think I was used to the last time I played. I had some pretty strong characters. See, I should have healed. And I should have done that. Broken. But... Maintain the offensive. What's done now? Good. Now I can get a heal off. Yes, for you, it's done. Hit him all you want. Ow! God dang! Yeah, I think when. I have more AC and damage. AC. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. He's gonna go. I have to kill him. Because his speed is pretty high. Five. Can't see my people's speed, can I? Nope. Yeah, he needed to die. Look at the chance of him getting a shot off. A trifling victory. But a victory but nonetheless. But this is a curio that you can interact with. I forget if you should do the holy water, which you see down here, this is that mod, or if you should just click it. I think if you just click it, it does stress heal. And if you do holy water, it gives you a buff. See? Oh, 
Oh, heal. And a stress heal. I will take it. Thank you. Continue forward. So this quest required me to explore 90% of the rooms. There's all sorts of other ones, like you have to do a dungeon clear, kill all the enemies, pick up stuff, gotta go clear altars and stuff. Those always... The worst ones are the collect ones, because the stacking stuff suck. Like, if you pick up three, it, it takes up three inventory slots. That's annoying. That's what the uh, mod do, increase better stacking is for. You jerk! You just stole two things from me in this one run. And it was, it was good food in there, speaking of food. So, I'm playing Torchless right now. Because, oh, it's because it increases my loot. Um, but a lot of times that's it's a gamble because they hurt you and all kinds of bad stuff can happen. Now this is a hunger tile that has a chance to happen where everyone gets to eat some food. And if you have a negative perk that makes you eat more or whatever, it hurts even more. Because they'll eat double. And as you can see here, that was a scout. So I know what's coming up ahead. Curio. Ooh. But I brought two shovels, see? That's what two shovels are for. I also picked one up. I think they changed that in the game too, where if you find a chest and there's gonna be at least one blockage, they will try to give you a shovel to try to compensate. At least that seems to be the effect that's happening. Ouch. They have a lot of damage coming in. All right, stun these two. So the guy that got stunned does a ton of stress damage. And he's gonna be kind of my highest threat. That also gives him a buff. Check it. I'm gonna actually do her damage because it heals her a little bit too. Or miss completely. Thank you. Miss. Ooh. Should I stun? I should stun. I need to get some crowd control up. God dang it. They have like 25% chance to, or resistance, 75% chance to stun them and I'm missing it. Come on, kill him! Come on, kill him! Okay, that was worth it. I wanted to heal the Crusader, but that guy really needed to die. I can try to stun him again. I'm gonna try to stun him again. Yeah, see that guy had a 90% chance to get stunned last time, and he didn't. That sucked. Ow! So hard. I can't stun him, right? Come on. Thank you. Really need to get a heal off. Exposed uh, healing blow. Ah, uh, my people are messed up. This is what Low Torch does.
I'm gonna continue ball. adventuring. I'm taking a chance here. So this is an heirloom chest. You can open it, but if you do a key, you get even more stuff. Glittering it's gold, ah. trinkets and baubles, paid for in so blood. So this is cool little button you can click here. Put your people back in the order you had when you first made your party. There's this room over here that I want to observe because it has treasure in it, but it also has a fight. Treasure rooms always have a fight in them. But I'm gonna have the torch up a little bit for it, I think. Oh, man. Does someone have the I must eat all the time? Work? No? Jeez, I'm just getting bad hunger title rules. That's, that's rough. Now I can choose to go straight across. There's a trap in the way, but I see it, so Dismas can disarm it from, with a higher chance. Or I can go around, which this is called backtracking. If you've gone through the hallway already, it's called backtracking, and it has a higher chance of making people get stressed. So I'm gonna go this way. 90% chance. Of luck. And when people disarm traps, they get a stress heal, which is which she kind of had a high chance because I would have done it with her. I'm not going to chance getting ruined, so I'm going to give them some food and get the torch up a little bit. Yeah, add a lot. Just, yeah, in case I got a bad roll, but this should be doable. A dizzying Ow. blow to they, body they and brain. They also change it too, like when you bring some back to the hamlet, you get a little bit of money returned back for it, which is good. You used to suck when you got absolutely no return. Yep. On you, thank you. Death Ow. waits Jeez. for the slightest Don't hit lapse him. in concentration. Oh. Explain more about how the game works as things go on. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Uh, this Fresh is an area. kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. 
Uh, this is one of the areas that I was talking about where you can heal stress. Uh, you send someone here and they heal stress. Uh, some quirks require you to only go to certain places. That's where you saw. I think someone had to only gamble for stress relief. But if you go here, you have a chance of getting like negative perk. Um, or like a person won't come out on the next run like they're supposed to. Uh, so I generally don't use the tavern if I can avoid it. Let's go to the abbey instead. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. All right, but this is Darkest Dungeon. I so love this game. I'm hoping you guys will stick through that with this, or through this with me. Uh, like I said, not very good at it, but it's always entertaining to watch. Um, this episode is definitely going longer because I'm including the intros and stuff of the game because they're just so good. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you liked it, please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, lets me know if you guys are enjoying what I'm putting out for you. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering if you so can do that because it helps those rescues and the animals that are very much in need. But I'm Basin. Thank you for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!